Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading. Today I am going to take a look into messages for you in love. We are going to look at this person's actions towards you, how they feel about you, their intentions. So just remember that energies are fluid and roles can be reversed. So take what only resonates. This message is for Aquarius. Aquarius in love. How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? Okay. All right. So I see that this person is heartbroken over you. Um, it looks like We'll have to get more on that. Um, they're feeling like they can't get over you. This person is heartbroken over you. This is possibly someone that you once worked very closely with. And they feel like you were the only person that could get them to open up with the King of Cups and say how they really felt. Like they were, they hid their emotions and you brought that out of them. Why are they heartbroken over Aquarius? Because you were the Empress, Aquarius. Possibly you may have children with this person. This person believes that you are the best thing they've ever had. You were a, you brought the best out of them. They feel that you helped them, you maybe built a life with this person. Or you worked with them. They're very beautiful. They think you're the most beautiful. Uh, yeah, they met you possibly at work or while building something together, close, possibly we were friends first. Look at this in the King of Cups. For some of you, this is someone that is heartbroken because they think you are amazing. They think you're creative, you're glowing, you're beautiful. They just want to be around you. They're like madly in love with you and they're, they work with you. And they're heartbroken because they're afraid to make an offer. They're afraid to, to ask you out. They're afraid to express themselves. And for others, this is someone from the past that is heartbroken. Yeah. Equal give and take. So this person is on your same level as far as work, being able to work with you, being able to help you, being able to receive. Why are they heartbroken? Why are they heartbroken? Okay, so for some of you, They feel that you left them for something more exciting, for someone more exciting. They feel that there are other suitors. They're heartbroken because there are other suitors. For some of you, this is someone that maybe didn't make you feel like the empress that you are. It's not male or female, but it's like you, you created everything in this life for this person. You created a beautiful life for this person. And they never really let you know. They never really made it clear and things just kind of fizzled out. You felt like there was nothing there, that they didn't feel anything for you. And you gave your full energy to this person, heart and soul. but you, weren't, you didn't know if it was going anywhere and now they're heartbroken because they lost you or they feel that they lost you and you have all these other 
suitors coming in, just trying to smooth, smooth you over here. And then you have some serious ones too. So there's a lot of contenders coming in. And if this is someone at work that sees you at work that is just afraid to say something, they might want to say something soon because they're kind of exhausting their mind. They're hiding their feelings and they're exhausting their minds. What are their next actions towards Aquarius? What are their next actions? Okay. Feels like they're afraid to make a move. Yeah, they're, ner they're nervous. Their actions are they're very cautious. For some of you, they're not sure how you're going to receive it. They feel like there's no use. So they're nervous about approaching you. They are going to approach you that you're going to receive a message from them because they believe that you're soulmates with the lovers. They believe that you're meant to be together. They feel it. They feel it, but they're nervous about it. Yeah. They can't help it. They're going to come in. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. And when they do, it's going to be something quick. So expect a message from them in the next two weeks. If this is someone from the past, they realize that they're not going to let anybody else have you without at least saying that they're willing to work with you now. They're, they, 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 are, they, they always were, but they never put you as a priority and you just felt like, you know, they, you were heartbroken too. So they broke their own heart, really. Yeah, they don't want you to walk away. They don't want it to be all over like that they, and if, if this doesn't work, if this doesn't work, what they communicate to you, like meaning like it, you don't give them a chance of the time of day, which some of you may not, depending on how things ended, they are just leaving. They're going to move. They're going to leave the area and they're just done with it. They're moving on. They're moving on. I feel like with the lovers though, that in their mind, they're having a hard time just letting it to bed because they feel so much for you. They're so connected. They want to express it for those of you that it's not for somebody from the past and their mind won't let them stop because they're strategizing like, hey, if I don't do anything, if I don't say anything, I'll never have a chance. I'll never have a chance to possibly have what I'm actually ready for now for some of you. So what are their true intentions? What are their true intentions? True intentions, they want togetherness. They want to be around. They want to have fun with you. They want to enjoy like the old times. They want to prove to you. They want to give you the love that you deserve. They want to give you every, with, with the nine of cups. They want to give you everything you've ever wanted and then some. They regret the past. And for those of you that this is someone new from work, they want to have fun with you, not just work with you. They want to be able to spend time with you outside of work and, and, and wine and dine you and treat you like the queen, the empress that you are. That's what they want to do. So let's see what the potential outcome is. And then get a little bit more information on what or who this person is, rather, how you recognize them. Spirit, what is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome for Aquarius? That one wanted to fly out. Ooh, the devil. Well, it's very tempting. very tempting for you. Again, we have the Six of Pentacles working together. Strength. Potential energy for the outcome. We have the Devil and the Six of Pentacles. So this is about you. You're, there's something connecting you. Something you share, for some of you, maybe it is children. 
Maybe this person, it's tempting to you to work this out with the strength. But you're concerned about them kind of pulling the wool over your eyes with this lying, cheating, stealing over here, Seven of Swords. But that could just be a strategy coming in. Give us some more on the devil. Where's the devil for the potential outcome? The devil of Aquarius. Knight of Wands, King of Swords. So they're coming in with a real strong game as far as how they're communicating with a the strategy. They've got a really great strategy here. But there's still the potential of them being an in and out energy. You've got two Knight of Wands up here. Certainly want to have fun and celebrate with you. But are they ready to have this equal give and take? They know that's what you want. So are they using that? I would be cautious. Are they using that as a manipulation tactic? But you are very strong. So unless they're showing this type of energy, this is not going to impress you. No matter what strategies they have, Aquarius. You're very bright. You're very strong. You've been down this road. And I don't see you putting up with that. So they're going to have to come in with more. Like this is not, you're not, this isn't your first rodeo with this person or with this type of person. So they're going to need to prove a lot more than just love bombing. Sometimes these people will try to prey on, they can read your weaknesses with the devil and they try to fill that void, but you've got to rise above that. And I think with the strength card, you are above that, Aquarius. The king of swords, you're too smart for that. You've got too much in, on your mind as far as how you, you want your life to go after all this that you're not going to let that happen. So how will Aquarius recognize this person? Who is this person? Ooh, the empress again. For many of you, this is someone that you have children with. Or you built something with. Five of Cups. They're lost without you. You will recognize this person. This is someone that maybe in the spotlight, they get a lot of attention for their job. They need a lot of attention. But they're never happy. This person is never fulfilled because they have empty, they're not forming real, they think that they're a soulmate to you, but they're not, they don't ever, they don't really open your their heart due to fear. But you were able to get to them. You were able to have them open up more to you than anyone else. But it's, are they good for you is the question. What is the advice, Spirit? I don't read reversals. So the advice is if you take things slow, if you take things slow and you make this individual, if you want come back, if they're coming back, they need to prove, they need to come out of hiding. They need to be true to their emotions. They need to come out and be different and prove that over time. This is not going to be quickly. Then you could possibly have a lasting, amazing, beautiful relationship, Aquarius. But they have got to lose the fear, the false love bombing stuff and be true. So it's like you feel that connection with this person, but they've hurt your heart. They've hurt your mind. They've hurt your soul. And I feel like they have a lot of proving to do. And will they, will they take the time, Spirit? Will they take the time? Will they do the work? Yeah, this is the this is the sign of competition and working through having to make work hard 
So they will work hard. They will prove this to you, Aquarius. They will prove this to you. So let's get some hidden messages, hidden truths. What are they hiding? What do they want to say to Aquarius? What do they really want to say to Aquarius? I'm definitely going to. What do they want to say to Aquarius? You speak to me through music. So possibly there's a song that has meaning to you both. And they hear it, they think of you often. I can't stop thinking about you. You're always on their mind because of this, the Five of Cups. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This person does not sleep well. They don't know how to get you back, but I'm feeling like they still have some growing up to do. I remember every day, every detail of that day. So for some of you, they remember the day that you left. They remember how their heart was broken and they created it themselves. And we will be together again. They're not giving up. The slow moving pentacles energy, they're not giving up, but they've got to lose this Casanova, I need all the attention vibe and really be true to who they are because that's what you loved about them, Aquarius. And for those of you that have children with this person or a family with this person or you built a business with this person, you birthed or created something. They did not prove that before. So you are cautious about allowing them back into your life, back into maybe that child's life, if they are going to continue with that same type of outward actions. Step out of your comfort zone. You, your hard work is paying off. So I feel what's happening is you, Aquarius, have been working on yourself. You have stepped out of your comfort zone. You're building new patterns, not the same old patterns. As far as relationships go, you've worked hard to create the person you are right now. So the, the, the true thing is you don't need this person. It's a matter of do you want this person? Are they adding value to your life? They will have to prove that. Let's get a mini tarot on this. Get it two. We have the King of Wands and we have the Knight of Wands. So the problem with this for you, Aquarius, is that this person is very tempting to you. They know how to make you feel amazing. They know how to attract you. They know how you tick. They know what makes your heart pitter-patter. They know what turns you on. But you've grown so much, you're out, your, your comfort zone is different now. So you have a very all strategy and thinking with your mind approach. So this is not going to cut it. Possibly King of Wands but definitely not Knight of Wands energy. They got to come in with that pentacles. They've got to come in with something more. They got to be true. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe as I greatly appreciate your support. I hope you have a fabulous week. Love and light.